Hi everybody, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. Happy Wednesday! And that means it's crochet time with you and I really enjoy this time. And I hope I have a project that I made that's going to be for me because like I said yesterday, I'm trying to do more things for me. And I'm in love with these colors as you know. And I was looking at Pinterest and trying to find some ideas oh, excuse me. Um, about what I could do with my granny square and I will put the link below on how to make this. I had the idea in my head that I wanted to make some type of texting gloves or driving glove. Um, because I don't like wearing gloves when I'm driving because I feel like it's too slippery. So I wanted something that at least the you know, tips of my fingers could um, get around the wheel. So this is what I came up with. So you'll need eight of the crochet squares. You'll need yarn, three, di three different colors, and you choose your yarn and your darning needle of your choice. And then this is what I made. And you're saying, well, what is it? Well, this is what it is. You put it on like you're putting on a glove or a mitten. And there you go. Fingers free, texting, driving. Even when you're crafting, let's say if you have arthritis or you have carpal tunnel, you want to keep your hand warm. This is what it is. And it's so easy to make. I love it. I'm very, very pleased. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So you start off with um, working inside out. So you're taking two of the squares and putting them together. And you're going to sew up each side. So let's do that. And you're, it's perfect because your stitches are your sewing guide. So you're just going to pick up two stitches over here and two stitches over there. And pull your, make a long piece of yarn so you won't have to uh, stop and I'm just tying it right now in a knot to secure it and then we'll just weave that extra tail through and you're just going to continuously all the way up grab those yarns and pull through you could go back if you wanted to reinforce it um, go back and you know do a zigzag up to you. I think this is just fine for my purpose. This is what exactly the same way you would do if you want to sew it together um, to be a blanket as well. So this is how you would be also sewing your blanket together or you could crochet them together if you wanted. I'm trying to surround so I can see better. So I hope everybody's having a blessed week. We are going to be getting our second snowfall of the year, or the winter, I should say. We had our five inches or so back in uh, November, and now they are predicting snow for the weekend. I am not sure how much. They said the European model puts it at four inches, but they're saying that it's going to be less than that. So I'm sure it's going to be a very pretty uh, snow. I know that they're expecting more heavier snow up north. Probably my hometown of Syracuse will get buried. <laughs> so. Anybody out there watching from Syracuse? Hey, this is my town. So you're just going to continue sewing all the way up. 
on the one side. Till we get to the corner. I hope you make these, and I was thinking about this, like imagine making these for your daughters or your nieces and do their school colors. Oh my gosh, they'll be the talk of the school. <laughs> and everybody will want them, and you'll get so many orders. And it doesn't take that much yarn. You get three skeins of yarn, and you can go to town. Okay, last one for the corner. Oops. <laughs> And on my <laughs> water bottle. Okay, let's see. We can get back, get our loop. Don't pull too hard. <laughs> let's see if I can get rid of this mess. Well, it never fails, right? Right when you're on camera. Yeah, you don't want to make your yarn too long, but long enough. Okay, now you're at the corner, so we're going to add our other piece, our other two pieces, I should say. And this time we're going to go across. Let me see. You know what? I think I'm going to do this time a little bit differently. I think I'm going to go up and then maybe come down. Let's try that. Okay, so we have good sides in. And we're going to put these two together. Put them on top. It's going to be kind of hard, but you can do it. Put it on top of here. And go through the corner again. I just want to see if I can get it to lay a little bit fatter. See, it kind of got like a little pulled in here. You see? I think I just pulled too hard. Don't pull your stitches so hard. Okay, I'm going to put these back and forth together so I can get the corners again. And I think you get the gist of it. I may not have enough time to finish all of it. I unfortunately will not be having Trash to Treasure or Friday Flowers. I'm sorry about that. Um, something came up and I need to do some errands. And I won't be able to finish the projects that I started to show you. Okay, so we got our ends here now. We will pick up our other one on the bottom. Get our corner. Sorry, it's just a little hard working around the tripod. Okay, and we'll come back and grab the other stitches. It's a little tricky, but you'll, you know, just get everything sewn together. Okay. Okay, so now we'll come back up to here. We'll go back up this side. Several years ago, 
we actually bought a snow blower or a snow shovel thingy blower sh shovel whatever it's called and because they were predicting like several several really bad storms that year <laughs> we didn't get any like one inch of snow or something so, so I told my husband last night I said well you better bring it in the house and set it in the kitchen because I think we're going to need it. You're finally going to get to be able to play with it and uh, shovel with it. He laughed. Watch. My son said, Mom, you always believe these weathermen. They're always wrong. My phone says we're not even going to be able to use a broom. We're not even going to be able to need anything to sh uncover the cars and da-da-da-da-da, you know, and I'm like, oh, boy. So... We shall see. Anyways, I'm always prepared. Pantry stocked. Fridge is stocked. So, candles are ready. Lantern flashlights are ready. The only bad thing is if we lose power, everything is electric. So, um, it's going to be cold. But I did buy some of those... Uh, little fire warming tray things so I figure we can put some, uh, you know a tea kettle on top of there and at least make something warm to drink that is the one thing that I can deal can't deal without is something warm to drink so we can have tuna cereal peanut butter jelly whatever but some, without going something warm really difficult okay we're almost together up here and then I'll show you how I went back down yes you could cut it but I just wanted to reinforce everything I hope you'll try these I think you're gonna love Doing stuff with your granny squares. I would love to have like, you know, probably would take at least 10 to 15 skeins, but we can make a very beautiful afghan. Okay, so I'm gonna go back down now and loop this again one last time. Now how I went back down. Because you see this is secured, see? And this is secured. So now we need to get back down to go across here. So all I did was I just ran my needle through all these other, you know, top stitches. So just pick, pick your stitches up. And you're just going to, like you're sewing down your seam. Oops, what happened? Okay, so see the white stitches here? I'm just going to pick them up. And get back underneath them. Like my yarn is splitting. Okay, so we're just getting back down where we can go across, get the middle part sewed so it stays together. I can't wait to wear these this weekend if we go out. If not, when I'm out next week and I'm driving. Sure. Could make a pillow cover with this, you know, like this, just sew them all together. Okay, so now we're kind of here at the bottom. Just gonna stitch these back together. Get our corner really good.
Okay, so now we have the base of the, the glove on one side. Now we need to open it up and grab this side and put it together. And we're just going to go across all these stitches just the same way that we did. Just picking up every set of stitches. The hardest, you think the hardest area is the thumb, but it's not. It's really easy. It's actually the easiest part because you don't have hardly any sewing, just the top. Okay, so we're just going to continue picking up our threads, I mean, our stitches. So, I'd like to know what you would like to see me teach you for crochet time next week. What would you like to learn to do? Or see me make? It'd be very helpful if you would tell me. Because I really love this time with you. I love making things and You know, this project, you can do it. You can make the center, make all the centers one night, then the next night add the group, you know, add the second round, the next night add the right, the third round, the next night crochet all the way around, and the last night put it all together. If you, you know, want to do it in little pieces of chunks of time, if you want to do it all together and just sit one night while you're watching TV, you can probably finish it in three hours, both sets of gloves. Okay, so now we're coming almost to the corner. Okay, so now we did that side. Okay, so this side is attached. These two are attached. Now we have to go back and we have to attach this side. So I'm going to do the same, same thing. I'm just going to go back a little bit and then cut my yarn. So my end won't right be there on the end. Okay. My yarn is coming unraveled. That's why I'm having such a hard time. See? coming unraveled. The plies are coming unraveled. But that's okay. It will still work. Okay, we get to that point just like we want to bind off. We make sure our knot is formed. And I'll cut it a little bit longer. Take my crochet hook. And you could do all of this with your crochet hook as well. I mean, you know, stitch, just go through each of these stitches and stitch them together. I'm just reaffirming that knot, and then I'm going to come through, pick up a couple more stitches here. And then 
just weave my yarn through. And then we'll cut out our end. And then pull it, and it'll take it back in and hide it. Okay? So now this is what we have. We have two attached from the middles attached and two attached from the side. Now we're going to work on the thumb area. Okay, so we need to do the same thing. We need to attach the other side. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to make it time wise. If I lose you, forgive me. I really hate to make this two part. But I think we can do it. Sorry, I'm just tying a couple knots in my yarn. Okay, so now we want to put these two together. So we'll start back at our middle. Flatten stuff out, pick up those first two stitches, I'll try to go a little bit faster this time. So you're just going to pick up I don't know if you had a sewing machine if you could sew this together. You probably could. I guess with like an overlock stitch, that would be really cool. So if you make these, please show them on Instagram. I would love to see them. Especially if you make them in like teen colors and your daughters or your nieces, yourself are wearing them. I mean, imagine a mom and me Valentine's gift for your daughter. Oh my gosh. Or your niece. They would love them. They would, you can be twins wearing the same gloves. I um, also think that my Nana was still alive. She probably would love to just wear these in the house to keep her wrist and her hands warm. But then she could still hold a teacup, coffee cup, and you know, do stuff around the house. So. And I think I've seen uh, Dee. Hi Dee, Betsy Doodle. I mean, she also has made something similar to this when she's crafting to keep her wrists warm. So this I think would be really great. Imagine send this to your bestie and uh, you know um, you know just surprising them maybe add some hand cream and or some tea bags or some hot cocoa and also remember no texting and driving if you're going to do this Okay, so we have our ends together now. We should just make it. I'm just going to do one couple more stitches here. This little piece that's sticking up here. I really want to try and see if I can get that to go away because this is the top. going to weave back through so that we can go up the other side. And make a knot. I guess I had really too long of a piece of yarn. So my advice to you would be, don't make it so long. Okay, 
secure our nut and cut this off and weave it through. I'll make another nut so I can get over to the hand so you can see. I think we're just going to make it. Okay, so now we're at this point, right? Let me, because when we sewing this closed, I won't have a chance to pull through right. Just hide these ends. Six minutes. Hope so. I think I can do it. Thank you for watching me for all this time. But this is the crucial step. Okay, so now you've got this sewed together. I mean, this would make like a perfect tea cozy. I mean, many, many things. I may just make a tea cozy for myself. Okay, so now I'm going to choose, since this part is the has more tails on the bottom and this doesn't. I'm going to make this my top. I'm going to start at the bottom and do a quip stitch up. Oops, turn my work inside out. This is going to make it very hard for me now. Of course, right? Right when you're online. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a video. Okay. Luckily, I was able to get it. Okay, we're just going to sew up these corners quick. because I don't want the time to finish. Okay, now you need to put it on and you need to see where your thumb is. So this is our top is going to come together here, right? So you're going to sew that and just make sure that you have enough room to get your, your hand in. I know I'm going to run out of time, but I will probably stop right here. And then I'm just going to run my yarn up here. And then I'm going to sew the top together up here. And you will have your driving gloves. So thanks for watching, everybody. God bless. I hope you try. I really had a lot of fun. Bye. See you next week. God bless. Be safe in the snow if you get the snow on the East Coast. Bye. Please like and subscribe. And please tell me what you want to see in crochet time. Bye.